you know, uh, post the, the EMV um, rollout in, in North America, it's really changed uh, the environment quite a bit. Um, you know, we've certainly seen the, the transition to card not present and application fraud. And, you know, application fraud, I think the interesting thing is this has pushed us to really think about that, not just traditional ways of third party fraud versus first party and synthetic, but, but really looking at that problem collectively because it is a, a broader issue and we'd be naive to think that uh, the frauds were only going to move to other uh, fraud areas. And so um, certainly um, that's expanded into uh, our authentication challenges as we you know, continue to really rely on static data uh, in our authentication channels. And, and so. Uh, um, you know, that those are a lot of things that we're dealing with and investing time and, and resources in. Great, and, and application fraud, is that the area of sort of uh, concern? Is that the area that's growing the most? I, I wouldn't necessarily say it's growing the most. In fact, if you, if you look at fraud on a gross basis, um, you know, uh, the fraud trend isn't going down. I think, you know, largely we've, we've looked at this from a, a net fraud loss perspective. And so um, city and, and a lot of financial institutions are certainly managing that net number, but the gross number is, is really going up. A lot of that's on incident rates. And so we have certainly are seeing the frauds continue to attack, continue to try to use um, card data that, that we know is going to end up becoming a non-value add asset as we continue to tokenize um, in the card not present space. And so um, I, I wouldn't necessarily say that's growing, but it's certainly top of mind uh, since we know that uh, identity theft is going to continue to be a focus area of where fraud's going to. And, and out of the technologies that are looking promising, you know, AI, tokenization, biometrics, that sort of thing, what, what looks promising to you in the future? All the above. Uh, you know, so uh, it's it's uh, it, it's interesting. We, we certainly look at things that, that we know, uh, investments in authentication and passive authentication um, is certainly uh, the, the tool sets that, that we're looking at. Um, we, we have looked at lots of biometric, but we think passive biometric um, technology is is um, just as, as promising and I think something that really has become seamless and, and really is the customer experience that the business is, is looking to go to. And then all of that wrapped around um, utilizing you know, better analytics, whether that's AI or machine learning, um, because we talked a little bit about um, in, in past transaction monitoring and really been the focus um, for fraud from a um, you know, how we manage fraud, is this transaction risky or not? It's really around, do I feel comfortable that this is our customer, this is our customer's device? And so it's that, that transition of not just looking at transaction risk, but really looking at the authentication of our customer.